right. Hello, Pisces. Thank you for joining me, Tootsie. Here at Snake Lady Tarot. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm going to take a look at your general energy reading. Give you some advice, foresight, and messages over the next few days or so. So, um, hit the like button, subscribe, and share the video if this resonates. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want me to know. Um, I apologize for my voice today. I'm a little ill, but let's go ahead and get into it. I'm always here for it. All right. Let's get some messages and in and advice for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? I'll say, you guys, only take what resonates, okay? Leave what does not behind. Leave it for someone else. Don't force the energy. Do not force a square into a circle. All right. We have naked harvest and soul forgiveness. Pisces, you're bearing your soul you're you're stripping yourself of your guard you are forgiving yourself understanding yourself you're growing you are ascending um, this is bringing forth abundance to you this is opening new doors <clears throat> new opportunities for you as well it's a process for you to be bare your true self it's, it's you showing your vulnerability to those around you, your loved ones, your soul tribe, your cycle of people you love. It's quite a journey and it can be debilitating to bear yourself and to just open yourself up to the elements out here. Um, I do feel as though at times it may be a struggle, it may be harder, you probably are in your head a lot more than in reality here. Um, it's hard to come out of your bubble. Um, I know with a lot of the empathy and the intuition and the intellect that you have, your ability to read energy, your ability to see through what people say and do. Um, it's hard to step outside of that and just live and just be you. But I feel this process is beginning for you here. And I love this for you. This is great. All right. Way to start off a reading. Let's get into it. As usual, you guys tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Share the video. Like the video. It helps to get the message out there so other Pisces can get the message as well. All right. Um, it's a fairly new channel. I started a few months ago. We're up to about 400 and so subscribers. I couldn't tell you how much I appreciate the support, you guys. I'm just here to share the message. I offer free we free readings, no charge. I'm just here to provide some sort of support for you. All right, so we have you in your 12th house. All right, this is you seeking oneness with all that there is. Um, your philanthropy, your beliefs, keep your involvement hidden. You're, you're, you're usually very hidden in your own bubble, right? Your faith, your tendencies, large institutions for overwhelming events. Um, I'm a Pisces myself, my fellow fishes and fishettes. I understand the anxiety included. Not all Pisces have anxiety. But all of us do have a extreme intelligence when it comes to understanding energy, understanding emotions, and emotions in other people. So I feel you're 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 working your way through having awareness of this and maximizing your abilities, maximizing your outcomes here you're learning to make this work for you. If you have, um, you know, friends and family that appreciate a good reading, share the page. 
help them tune into the channel. I do do all signs. I'm sure they would appreciate the messages as well. All right. Cancer, Leo, and the number six, very important for you over the next few days or so. Um, six, five, four, four, six, five, five, four, six. Respect your feelings, enjoy the time you have, and release the power of your heart. Be free to love, be free to enjoy the little things, be free to and be empowered by your own feelings. Respect your feelings. Um, don't hide them. Don't hide yourself. Bear yourself. All right. With Mommy Wata, she's she wants you to bear yourself. Be true to yourself and who you are. Um, all the time, not just in in your comfort zone. Right. This is you stepping into the unknown. All right, and, and you will experience this change within, I would say from six days through five months, you're gonna be encompassing new knowledge while you journey through bearing yourself, where you journey through forgiving yourself, stepping outside of your comfort zone, stepping outside of your emotions, your feelings, your anxiety, Giving yourself at liberty is going to open doors and bring forth a lot of abundance here. And you have the harvest card. Bulgimba. Harvest card. All right. Some, some love and light for you. Be the love that you wish to receive, Pisces. Those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. That's Proverbs 11.25. All right and bottom of the deck a happy home my people will live in safety quietly at home they will be at rest isaiah 32 18 so like i said you're journeying your way through understanding your emotions their emotions opening doors and it's, it's all around true growth, it's ascension. You're vibrating higher, you're learning more, you're ascending. So I will give a super congratulations to you there. Let's take a look at your past, present, future and get some clarity on what you're dealing with these days. All right, messages and advice for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Our fishes and fish eyes. Tower, the High Priestess, and Ten Swords. Past energy, the Tower. Pisces, I feel as though from your past energy. The tower things may have been unstable for you that's probably why you felt the need to protect yourself why you feel the need to layer yourself in a in guarded walls right your walls are up you're not really bearing your true self sharing all your thoughts and feelings and emotions with those around you um, you've kind of just been harboring on how they feel understanding themselves and perhaps it's it's becoming overwhelming it's breaking down it, it your your walls are falling down around you all right you're unable to keep it inside anymore um it's almost uncontrollable that you feel the need to to your wall drop your walls and, and bring your walls down and open up to those around you um even in the sense of 
I feel like this is in the sense of um, urgency. Maybe in this, maybe in the sense of having to confirm the love, confirm the commitment with those who are in your soul tribe and that you love, that you care about, the people in your cycle. It's like a sense of urgency that, no, you know what, I'm going to be my true self. I'm just going to bear it all, you know, all of me, every, every fishy scale, you know, every mermaid scale, they're just going to have to see it all. So we have the tower for you in your past energy. Yeah, you have to open up. You, you feel like you have to open up. You have to connect. There's only one way to truly celebrate and have joy. And that's with balance. That's with give and take. You can't just take on everyone else's emotions without sharing some yourself. It feels like an, an explosion, like an implosion from the inside. Um, and that's what I'm getting for you, to allow balance in the chaos. You have to bear yourself. You have to be true to who you are, um, true to what you believe, true to what you feel, and true to what you want, what outcomes you're looking for here. Messages, dreams, self-love, creation, intentions, stability, harmony, and flow. Yeah, maybe someone said something to you. Perhaps, perhaps you're just having vivid dreams and receiving messages through your thoughts. Most dreams and thoughts are answered prayers. Um, so perhaps you're, receipt, you're, you're realizing you even remember some of the dreams you have. A lot of people don't remember their dreams, but I feel as though you're starting to remember details in these vivid dreams. They're, they're allowing you, they're telling you, you know, that they're, you're something that you're ready to create. Um, you have an intention moving forward. You have a... a path, a mission, right? Um, and it starts with self-love. It starts with creating self-love and building from that. What do you want for yourself? How do you love yourself? How do you love those around you? Now, it's becoming a full circle dream. It makes complete sense. With the actions you put forth will create stability, harmony, and even flow, give and take. All right, good yin and yang bottom of the deck receive open open your heart open your hands to receive all right beautiful reading there in your current energy pisces you have the high priestess because you understand your intention you've received the messages you're opening yourself up You have all of this connectivity happening. It's it's overwhelming the amount of love. And when you realize the amount of love, you're now able to see some of the hate, some of the negative, the toxic people around you. It makes it a clearer picture, right? Um, when you can see the love, you can also see the hate. You can feel the difference. It weighs different. It, it, the texture of the love is different, right? Um,
it's it's not able to be dismissed you can't ignore it right so you have this true connection you're able to understand energy you're able to move forward you're able to discern disconnect be blunt and cold with those around Europe you're able to be honest you're able to bear your soul you're able to advise them you know like you know you've been hurting me I, you know you can walk with me and we can have these have this stability because you're providing it and you're working towards stability or we can be cold blunt dry cut you off and and it just is what it is because you're one of the energies that aren't reciprocating It does, information can <laughs> be painful sometimes. I feel like that's maybe why you stay in your bubble and you don't really share yourself because it is, the truth can hurt, um, but that's only if you have a fear to move on, if you have a fear to push through it. Um, but you have bigger dreams. This isn't where your path ends. You, you're pushing for it. You want to create a real soul tribe, a, a true family of love, growth, maturity around you. So this isn't going to stop you. It may hurt a little bit to have to cut people off. Maybe, you know, when, you, when you're when you open and you're honest, like, you know, you just haven't been a true friend or you just haven't been here for me and it feels selfish and I'm just not going to deal Maybe they'll have something snarky to say back, something <laughs> hurtful, you know, um, because they can't handle the truth. But again, they kind of just bear their own soul, their, their truth to you. Trust in divine timing. You will find a balance between karma and justice. Bottom of the deck, divine feminine. Miss Empress, her, uh, Miss High Priestess herself. So I would advise stay honest, stay true to yourself. Um, people can change and people can choose to change or choose not to change. So allowing them in your space when you know they're toxic or negative is only going to harm you. It's almost self-sabotage because now you know better and you can't unsee it do yourself that favor be honest be true be open and be willing to let go of what is harming you what is causing sabotage ten of swords in your future energy this is the hurt and the pain and the loss of having to let go of some people this is, these are the words that they want to throw at you to avoid their own growth, maturity. You know, it, it maybe it hurts them when you let them know, like, hey, you're not really being a true friend. So, like I said, maybe they have some choice words for you. Four of Cups in the world. Maybe they're not ready to move forward. Maybe they're not able to push through their own toxicity. Maybe they're not ready for the world. They're not ready for what you're creating. I will say they may be going in the opposite direction. And even if you didn't cut them off and you stuck by them and you continued to allow them in the soul tribe you, for some of these people you can provide all the help in the world and it may still not be enough they're just not truly carrying their own weight here and may never so it's up to you you know we don't read free will you know I'm not a fortune teller I can only read the energy around you but I will say some of these people that you choose to let go, 
some are going to have something smart to say. Some are going to give you the, oh, well, you just don't believe in me and you just aren't willing to help me. But the truth is they're not helping you either. They're not providing any help for you and they certainly are not helping themselves. They may not have dreams. They may not have their own self-love. They may not be able to create anything positive. They may just be a toxic energy. So Ten of Swords in your future energy. Don't allow their negativity to sabotage you. Don't allow their, their words, their toxicity to taint your positive spirit, your positive energy that you have going for yourself. You're in the business of creating, harmonizing, growing. They seem to be in the energy of taking, take, take, take. Yeah, suffering, lacking. Confusion, alchemy, ancestors, and apology and forgiveness. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, fire. So, yeah. Ten of Swords. Your ancestors are guiding you forward to stay strong, to be true. All right. You're having to forgive yourself and move forward. You don't have, you know. It's not your place to deal with someone else's lack of effort, lack of empathy, lack of energy, right? If they want to be confused and, and, and delusional, live in their Neptune energy, right? Lies, secrets. I feel like there's going to be a separation. Maybe they'll miss you. Maybe you'll miss them. Um, but there is no room for suffering in action because you're because these people are needing to heal from the past. All right, um, apologize to yourself for allowing this to happen. Forgive yourself, soul forgiveness, for not realizing this sooner. But. Um, don't allow it to continue. You have to have that fire energy about yourself, Pisces. You have to be passionate about yourself and your own goals and your own forward action here and not allow them to taint your mission moving forward any longer. So it seems like you're on a path of growth, ascension, and learning about yourself, which is going to allow you to learn about the other people around you. Boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? And I tell you, it's with the people who aren't carrying their own weight. It's with the people that are weighing you down here. All right. Pisces, let's take a look at your love reading. Pisces, the lovers, let's get into it. you have it already you guys like the video let's help get this message out to other fishes and fishettes all right i'm only going to do a handful of readings this weekend just due to my voice is very weak i have to like force these words out um uh, i will try my hardest to keep it going but um We've got Chaser, Destruction and a Karmic Partner. In pursuit, convincing, rejection, let them go and let them be. So yeah, these people that aren't holding their weight, friends, family, people in your soul tribe, lovers. If you're chasing and chasing and you're the one holding up the end of the friendship stick, lover stick, soul tribe stick, let them go they're destructive they may be having their own tower moment um an unexpected change new opportunities that are wavering their faith their beliefs all right and then you'll realize 
who's destructive, who's the chaser, and who are your karmic partners? Conventional relationships bound by duty, bound by societal conventions. You're going to have an awareness here. You will have an awareness here. Let's go on and clarify some of these for you. By releasing these destructive people that you've been chasing and carrying, you're going to open the door to a new karmic partner. All right. A new karmic partner. This could be a friend, a lover, or someone that you is almost a must have in your soul tribe, right? Burdens, worry, self-sabotage, dreams, visions, subconscious thoughts, messages from past loved ones and ancestors. Yeah, I feel like you're being waken up. You, you're getting these visions, these dreams, because you have spirit guides. People around you are trying to advise you of something, all right, um, that you need a fresh start. All right, so within three months, I say within six days to three months, or to five months, but this is saying in three months, you're gonna realize the message in your dreams. You're gonna realize what a burden these people are. Once you're able to hit them with this Queen of Swords, I'm sorry, this isn't working. I'm moving this way, let's go our separate ways. However this works out for you with your Queen of Swords air energy. You'll clear space from the negative, clear space from the toxic, and you'll have a fresh start, a new path, new beginnings, possibly children, um, the energy of children, creation even, fresh start, it could also just be creation. If you're creating a business or something like that, it's also a child. You have to nurture this. You have to brainstorm, collaborate, manifest. It's a new project in some way, shape, or form for you. All right. Let's get some romance advice for you. Pisces, the lovers. What does Pisces need to know? love, romance, passion, messages, advice for Pisces, the lovers, potential love, new love, long-lasting love, deeply rooted, deeply bonded love, our married Pisces, our committed fishes and fishettes. passion release your ex past life relationship yeah you've known each other before all right you've got passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy the time has come to clear your energy and release your exes these past life relationships people you have known before you've got to decide are you the chaser are you chasing them because they're destructive? Are you chasing them because they're running away? Are they toxic? Or are they your karmic partner? Are they someone you choose to continue to be bound to? Once you make these decisions, you will be freeing yourself. You'll, it'll be time to take back control of your life. All right, release yourself from, from the unknown. So I would definitely pay attention to any dreams visions if you could recall it it's absolutely a message message from your ancestors messages from your past loved ones your spirit guides
trust in divine timing. When you when you remember this energy, when you're realizing these dreams, when you at the time you're picking up on these details, it's meant for you. You know, dreams are absolutely messages. You're going to regret chasing these people and allowing them to stay in your life. This is someone to release. You're blocking yourself from self-love by chasing these people around. This is time you could be spending on yourself, building yourself up, understanding yourself, creating new opportunities for the people you love, the people who are not running from you. Um, but you're taking from that part of the equation just in order to chase these people that you're going to regret they're destructive in the bottom of the deck eternal love your karmic partner the people that are true to you that are giving you and giving to you as you give to them this great yin and yang relationship you have they're true karmic partners they're bringing forth eternal love to you they are bringing forth eternal love to you Alright. So let's take a look in the shadows. What does Pisces need to know? What don't you know? What's being avoided here? What's in the shadows? Let's bring it to the light. I know you're watching me. I've been here before with others. Yeah. This person knows one day you're going to cut them off. It's not a shock to them. That's why they're going to have some smart things to say to you. Bottom of the deck, I wondered how far this would go. They've been waiting, wondering. They know, they know they're, they've got the short end of the stick. They know they're not carrying their own weight so they've just been peeking their head up every now again like am I in trouble yet are you are you quitting on me yet this is a toxic person it's giving me you know when mom goes grocery store shopping when you're little and she comes home with all the groceries and it's time to help her bring the groceries in and put them away and you as a child you know the good child goes and helps and puts the groceries away and the other child pretends they're sleeping or pretends they're on the toilet for a good 30 minutes instead of, you know, just coming on down and helping. And by the time they come down and help, you know, it's just a box of cereal that needs to be brought in. Um, they, they, they don't carry their own weight. They're not helpful. They're not participating in the growth in your life. It's just the kind of energy I'm getting. They're lazy. As a, as a Soul Tribe member, they're very lazy. And you're. I feel like you're going to get over it. But they expect this. They know what they're doing. Every step of the way, they know what they're doing. This isn't for you to apologize to them for letting them go at all. You should apologize to yourself for allowing this to continue. That's what I'm getting for you. You speak to me through music. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Yeah, and I left before you could leave me. So yeah, I would say I would cut them off because they're only sticking around to take. They're not truly available for you. They're not truly here for you. They're a taker. They're not a giver. And the sooner you realize that, the sooner you'll be able to contain what energy you have left to give to others and to give to yourself. Self-love, we have twice on the table. This person has some healing they need to deal with on their own. All right. Let me get you some final romance here. Embrace. Through each other, you find missing pieces and trust transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform 
Yeah, you need to accept that these people are takers, not givers. Accept that they're toxic and negative. They're not bringing anything to the table but burdens, heavy weight. And when you call them out on it, they get spiteful, bitter, nasty, right? These aren't the people that are a part of your soul tribe. These are people trying to take from and incomplete your circle. You know, they're, they're chinks in your chain. All right, that's what I'm getting for you. Let's see if we can clarify the energy. Let's, let's help you pull them out. I feel like you know exactly who I'm referring to in this situation, which of your crappy friends they are, kind of crabs in the barrel, right? You're trying to get out of the barrel and you guys climb each other's backs trying to get out and then the closest one to the top always gets pulled down by someone below. You're never really getting anywhere in this friendship. It's not really growing. They're not teachable. They're not coachable. They know everything and they know nothing. All right, Mars 17. Libra 7. Gemini 3. Taurus 2. Earth, 26. Earth energy, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Taurus. All right. Pisces, you know who, this, who these people are. All right, so that is generally what I have for you today. Um, I'll give you one more oracle and close it out with some angel messages for you. I, I do hope this resonates with you. I hope you continue to grow. I hope you only allow positive people around you. Don't allow your huge bleeding heart to just bleed out. Some of these people, man, they, they are taking advantage and they don't care how much blood you're losing. All right. I will say that trust is bliss. When you can trust everyone around you, you can live in bliss. If you have to keep one eye open at night, you're not getting your true rest. You understand? Resurrection, Yamaya. Allow yourself to have a rebirth. Allow yourself to step into... Um, a new realm where only true believers, where only true friends, true love exists. When you have that, it's so easy to point out, you know, <laughs> the fakers, the naysayers, the sabotagers, the takers. Very easy to point them out. Bottom of the deck, you guessed it. Hood love community. You know who's for you. It's so obvious. You know, when everyone shows up wearing the same t-shirt because it's red day, but everybody who reads the messages in the group chat reads them and knows what it is. And then people that only show up when there's free stuff, you know, they're not wearing the, the group tee. Whatever this is, however this could resonate for you, but they're not a part of the community and it's, it's obvious and it's evident. It's very evident. All right, messages, advice. What do the angels want you to know? Messages, advice for Pisces, our fishes and fish heads. Thank you guys so much for being here. I truly appreciate your support. Um, leave a comment down below if this resonates with you. Let me know what you want me to know. If it doesn't resonate with you, let me know what you want me to know. I've been doing shout outs on my Instagram, so I always share the positive messages and, and any feedback as well. All right. Final messages, angel messages for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Well then, that's a lot of messages. Let's go ahead and clarify these. Let's be more specific. 
Big messages, big messages. This Pisces seems to know. Alright. All is well. Pisces, everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. Clear cognizance. Pay attention to the thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here, Pisces. I hope this resonates with you. I hope you receive the message. Um, don't allow people to block your blessings. Don't allow people to eat off your plate that wouldn't feed anyone else in your soul tribe. Tighten up. Tighten up your people. Tighten up your crew. Tighten up your circle. Um, you may have some haters in the family tree. Whatever this is for you, however this resonates, you've got you. You're you're running after people. You're chasing after people, and they're running away from you. Um, they're taking from you and not giving. There's no equal yin and yang. No equal give and take here, and it's sabotaging your creations. Everything you're creating. It's slowing you down and it's sabotaging. So that is my advice overall. Pisces, where do you need to establish better boundaries? And that's in relation to the community. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Good luck with all of your choices and endeavors over the next few days or so. Um, thank you for your support, you guys. Please like the video. Let's get this message out so more people can get it. Brand new channel. We're up to about 400 subscribers. Let's 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 keep growing. All right. Um, good luck with everything. Pisces, blessed be.